As a British man, it's extremely uncommon for me to use the word awesome to describe anything. But I want to show you a feature that I feel so strongly about, and I, I have been spending some time in California and it might have affected me, but I feel so strongly about this, I'm going to have to use the word awesome. And the feature is called JKL trim or JKL trimming. Now, the J, K and L keys can be used to play back on the timeline. The J key plays backwards and the L key plays forwards and the K key pauses and multiple presses of J and L will give you multiple speeds. There we go. I can race through my media. JKL trim is the combination of the J, K and L keys on your keyboard with the trimming tools. So here on my timeline, if I just click once, to select the end of a clip and then try to use J, K, and L while I'm still controlling my playhead. But if I double click to go into this mini trim panel, I'm now in a special mode where if I press the J key, for example, I'm playing backwards, I'm pressing K, and I've now trimmed the end of this shot. If I play forwards with the L key, there it is playing. It's going to stop eventually because it's going to reach the end of this clip here, trim blocked on video one. That's OK. I'm going to press the K key and there's my trim. Now I'm going to go to the other side of the edit and this time I'm going to play forward with the L key and stop. And you can see again, I've left a gap. Now I'm leaving gaps here because I'm using the red mode trim handle. I've just clicked without the control or the command key. I haven't changed my preferences to make yellow the default. If I press J to go backwards, we're going to reach the limit of the gap. I press K and the trim is complete. Now if I click away and click on the end of this clip using the control or the command key, so I've got a, a regular ripple trim. In fact, I need to double click. Now I can play backwards and forwards and rock over the media and think actually there, that's where I want the clip to end. Now on your keyboard, the left and right arrow keys are for going one frame forwards or backwards, or you can combine the keys with other keyboard shortcuts to do small fractional trims or move your clips. But the up and down arrows are for going to the previous and the next cut. So if I press up now to go to the previous edit and then click on the right here to get the beginning of this shot, now I can use the J, K and L keys to decide where I want the shot to begin. I want it to start there and that's my trim. Then I can do the same on the other side of the edit. Let's just, here we go, there and so on and so on. I can work my way through the edit very, very quickly. Now, the reason this is such a big deal feature is that the only way you can know if a trim timing is right, if the cut has got the right time, is to play the video and watch it in real time. And what tends to happen is you'll play the edit and then you'll realize that's it, that's the moment. You feel it almost as much as you see it. If you could just press a key at that exact moment and know that you had trimmed your shot, how wonderful that would be. Well, that's exactly what JKL Trim does. You can go from a very loose assembled sequence where you've just got almost all of your shots, a very, very long sequence. You can rush through using JKL Trim and get a pretty close edit, even on the single pass, the first time through the edit. So JKL Trim is a fantastic feature. I encourage you to try it out as soon as you can and find some really long shots. There's a nice uh, cable shot there, that's quite long. And if I just, again, double click on the end of this, I can use the J key to play back in time and think, yep, around about there. That's where I want the out point. I'll go up arrow on my keyboard, that's going to bring me to the beginning of the clip. And now I can play forwards and I'll think around about maybe there. That should be my starting point for the shot. If I press the space bar, I'm going to loop play around the edit. Doesn't make much sense here, but if I deselect, right click and ripple delete and go back into the trim, I can now use the space bar to play over the cut and I can use JKL to change the timing of my clip. Again, here I'm in red mode. I really want to be in the yellow insert extract mode. So try it out. That's JKL trim on the timeline in Premiere Pro CS6. And I'm just going to call it awesome.